This is Frankie Meatballs, and welcome to another episode of Frankie Meatballs Says. Before we get started, I wanted to again thank the Dick Stein Law Firm for sponsoring this great series on what accident victims ought to know when moving forward with a claim. The most common question I get in a client consultation is, what is my case worth, Frankie Meatballs? Now normally, this question comes a day or two after the accident. And my first response is that because the injuries are so fresh and we don't have any information about the at-fault party, no one can answer that question with any truth. And if you have an attorney that says they can, you have a liar for a lawyer. I know there's a joke in there somewhere. I can't tell you what the value of your case is a day or two after your accident, but I can tell you what to look for and determine if you have a good case and to evaluate its worth. Here's how we do it. I'll make it easy for you. Pretend you were playing the slots at the Hard Rock. You put your dollar in the slot, and you push the button hoping the machine pays out. We all want to get three cherries, because what happens when you get three cherries? You get the jackpot. That's how we evaluate your accident case. Each cherry represents a category. The first cherry represents who's at fault. Sometimes it's 100% the other person's fault. That's a solid cherry. Sometimes both drivers or a third unrelated person is partially to blame. That's called comparative negligence. And whatever percentage of fault you have reduces the value of your claim. The second cherry are damages. This falls into two subcategories, economic and non-economic damages. Economic damages have subsections too. They include lost wages and loss of future earning capacity, as well as medical care that you have and will need in the future. And three, out-of-pocket losses. These are all the damages that can be calculated and added up to determine the case's value. Then there's non-economic damages, which is your pain and your suffering and how your injuries from this incident have affected and will affect you in the future. There is no formula for this to calculate the value. It's typically a gut feeling on what a jury would award you. And different areas have different types of juries. Some are more plaintiff friendly, some are more defense friendly. It all depends on which area you get hurt in. Most of the time, unless you have filed a lawsuit and you've undergone a surgery or you have severe injuries, insurance company adjusters do not put money for pain and suffering, non-economic damages when settling a case at the pre-lawsuit stage. The third cherry is a deep pocket. That is, we need an at-fault person who has a policy with a lot of coverage or a negligent big company with lots of assets that is not going out of business. If all three of these categories fall into place, then typically the payday is very good. Unfortunately, that's not always the case, just like pulling the slot machine at the Hard Rock. Otherwise, I'd be doing this show from my yacht. To obtain the proper information to be able to evaluate a case's value takes a lot of time and investigation. More importantly, the second cherry cannot be obtained until we know what the full extent of your injuries are, so we can articulate that into some form of settlement demand package and share all this information with the insurance company adjuster who has the money to pay out on the claim. I hope you found this episode of Frankie Meatballs very informative. If you did, please go to the Dick Stein Law Firm's Facebook page and like us. You can find us on the Dick Stein Law Firm's YouTube page as well. Please subscribe. This is Frankie Meatballs saying thank you for tuning in to another episode of Frankie Meatballs Says, brought to you by the Dick Stein Law Firm your neighborhood accident injury victim advocacy law firm. You can reach us at 888-FLA-HURT and 954-893-8000 or go to our website at flahurt.com. Ruff!